Okay, this is a pointer and arrays. Okay, so we've got pointers and arrays now. Right, we start the same way stdio.h, the library file, so we can use functions such as printf. Okay, so we start by defining the main function. We declare our very first array here, and it's going to be called int arr, int array. Okay, it's going to hold 10 elements and it goes 1, 2, 3, all the way to 10. So it's got 10 elements within that array. We now declare another uh, variable of integer type called i, which we're going to use as a counter. If you recall when we, we did loops and and so on, we always use this i as, as a, a counter of some sort. Now we're going to declare the pointer so you put a star in front of the name and we called it PTR you could have called it anything and we are assigning the the, the array or the element the very first uh, element of the the array to the pointer so now we're asking the pointer to point at the very first element which is element 0 and as you can see I've wrote here a comment saying this is shorthand for saying int array zero as soon as I just put the name it it goes to the very first element here now we start the loop for I for so we was assigning I the uh, value zero so this is the the actual counter and we're saying as long as the I is less than 10 carry on you know do the loop and if it's if it's equal to 10 stop basically yeah uh, or if it goes greater stop so I should never uh, go to greater than 10. It will stop before that. And we say increment I by 1. So it makes I now equal to 1. And it prints the element percent %d with integer value. So it prints the value of I. So it should print 1 here. And it says the value stored in uh, the, the array is and it, it, we use the, the star in front and it gives us PTR so we started I at 0 and it should print 0 here and it should print the value that's stored which is 1 okay because that we, we always start at point 0 and then it will increment I and it will increment the pointer by 1 as well so it would move the pointer to this value here Okay, so that's a very simple program. We're going to run it and we're going to see what it does. So we go to build. It looks like it's built completed. It says it's no errors. If there was an error, it would have appeared here. And we're going to go to the command prompt again. Now, what did we call this one? We called it point array. So point array. And it tells us here element zero. I because we 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 assigned i to zero. It has the value one. Element one has the value two, and it goes all the way through the array to last, and it reads the very far last one, which is ten. Like I said, arrays start always at the value zero, and they they count from zero upwards. So for us logically we'll say this is element 10 but the actual in in the array it will be element 9 and the first element will be called element 0 which is element 1 it's a bit crazy I know it sounds anyway so we've done with this example we're gonna move on to changing the va uh, the variable values um, using pointers so we're gonna be changing the pointers uh, where the, the actual value where the pointer is gonna be pointing in the next example.